AI is not just for tech anymore. It's now entering hospitals. Could this technology save you and save, save the lives of millions of people? Hello, everyone. my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan. AI is an extremely important uh, tool that we can crunch tons of data in a period of seconds. Now, AI can be very effective in, in medical treatment and predicting outcomes. But here's what you need to know. Artificial intelligence is only as good as the information that it's fed. And in the published literature, a lot of times there's a misinterpretation of data. And if that misinterpreted data is fed into AI, it could lead to catastrophic results. Because what we look at in, in symptomology is you look at proteins, symptoms, pathways that are upregulated as a consequence of the disease. And if the AI is targeting the consequence of disease as a potential target, then it's not going to lead to better outcome. It's not going to address the root cause of that. And unfortunately, that's what most drugs do today is they target the symptoms or the consequence of the disease and failed to address the root cause. But again, if we can feed the right data into artificial intelligence and then be able to predict outcomes, predict the root cause of that disease, and then use that as a target, then it'll transform medicine, transform wellness. But again, all these new tools that we have access to, whether it's AI, uh, innovative drug therapy, we have to understand the benefit and understand the risk. And if the benefit far outweighs the risk, then that's an easy quotient. But if it's posing too much risk with unknown benefit, then I think we have to proceed with caution. You know, a perfect example of how AI has been not really misused, but misinterpreted was a recent study that I commented on on a radio interview in, in New York City. AI picked out two proteins, two pathways that were affected by two cancer drugs. And so this article showed that if you use these two cancer drugs off-label, that it completely cured and reversed Alzheimer's in mouse models of disease. Now, here's what the AI is very powerful because it highlights those pathways. But the truth of the matter is that cancer is not caused from the targets or the overexpression of these proteins or enzymes that these off-label off drugs are affecting. So it gives us kind of patterns and associations, but we have to understand that association is not causation. And that was the perfect example of these drugs. That study made headlines but what does it mean in the treatment of Alzheimer's? Absolutely nothing. So again, as AI starts to, to tickle out a lot of patterns, recognitions, associations, targeted pathways, and developing drugs for it, it could mean nothing, or it could be revolutionary. But again, AI is only as smart and useful as the information that it's fed.